Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm basically going to film for you guys and get ready with me for castings because I have a casting to go to today for fashion week that's coming up and fashion week starts mid-May. So we're going to go to a casting today and I'm going to get ready for that. But that's in the afternoon. Right now it's 7.30 in the morning and I'm going to go have breakfast with mum. Um, This is my little fit. I'm basically just wearing this top from Dolly but these trackies and these shoes so I'm going for a comfy look but I'm just gonna have some breakfast with mum and then I'm gonna chill for the day edit some videos and get ready for the casting this afternoon Okay, I'm about to head to the gym. I'm just gonna put on some quick skincare. I just had breakfast though. I had my banana bread and I had a coffee as well. I don't usually have coffee in the mornings, but sometimes I do. And today was one of those days because I literally didn't sleep at all last night. So I'm gonna just do some quick skincare and then we're gonna head to the gym. I'm about to head to the gym. I'm going to the gym with my boyfriend. So I'm gonna go drive there right now. But today I'm just gonna do back because he wants to do back and also because my legs are too sore from training last night to do legs and I did arms at the gym yesterday. Yesterday was a big day with working out because I did arms in the morning at the gym with my friend Holly and then I did legs at Taekwondo. Basically whenever I have Taekwondo training I just call it legs because it's like a bunch of kicking which hurts my legs. So that was yesterday. Today I'm going to do back and then I have a PT session at Taekwondo tonight which will I guess be like legs again. Yeah so I get my fitness up from my Taekwondo training and running at the gym and then everything else is more just like strengthening, toning. I'm gonna go into my fitness routine in a separate video but I just thought I'd let you guys know what I'm doing right now. Also, you know we need to have the car bangers for the drive let's see what kind of music we want to play do you ever just find the most random songs when you're just like going through your music and you just absolutely love it from the start because that's me with this song sun goes down so i'm gonna listen to that and drive to the gym i am literally sweating right now so i'm gonna go inside have a shower freshen up and then i have to get ready for the casting this afternoon it's currently 12 36 my casting is at 2 30 so i still have a little bit of time i'm gonna have something to eat for lunch um as you guys saw for breakfast i just had some banana bread for lunch i'm gonna have something a little bit healthier maybe some eggs or something especially because i just went to the gym um but yeah that's all i have to update you guys with right now So I'm already doing my skincare this morning. I'm just gonna do my face wash and some moisturizer and sunscreen. So I'm not gonna do too much because I already like put stuff on my face this morning. It's just because I was sweating at the gym, it has obviously like come off my face. But usually, and what I'm gonna use today is these two from CeraVe, CeraVe, I don't know how you say it, but I say CeraVe. This is the face wash I use and this is the moisturizer. I'm gonna use that on my face just so my skin looks fresh and rejuvenated for the casting. I always like forget to tie up my hair before I start doing my skincare and then my hair goes literally all in my face. Basically what I wear for castings like changes. I usually have like one or two outfits that I stick to and pretty much wear to most castings. But sometimes some castings I have like specific instructions of what they want me to wear or of what my agents might tell me would look better to wear. But for this casting I didn't really get any details or anything so I'm going to wear what I usually wear and I'll show you guys what that is. My agents always tell me that I should wear a skirt. I think it's so that you can like see my legs and like kind of show some figure. So I'm going to wear a black skirt. Um, that I always wear and I wore that to fashion recastings last year as well And then I'm probably just gonna wear a black top to go with it and some boots before I put on my Casting fit. I'm gonna do just like a little bit of skincare and makeup One big tip for castings is not to wear a lot of makeup No casting director likes it when you wear a lot of makeup because they want to see what you look like on a day-to-day -day basis And not what you look like done up because if you book the job They're obviously gonna do makeup on the day and things like that So they know like everyone doesn't always have good skin which is why they don't want you to come with makeup at all really so i literally just use sunscreen every day anyway even if i'm not going to a casting just because it's good for you and also keeps my face looking nice and glowy and then once that's rubbed in i use 
is this which I only actually bought when I was in Paris so I only just started using it but it's basically an all over glow enhancer just basically like makes your face really nice and glowy and a little bit bronze like a bronze tint to it which I like to put on my face just because it gives me a bit more life in my face I guess and it looks really nice and I literally just put like a tiny amount because I don't know if you can see I literally can't even see but put the tiniest amount and then I just rub it into my face but literally in terms of face and skincare and makeup getting ready for castings that's all I do literally just sunscreen and my glow drops as I like to call it I'm not sure what the actual name is and then I'll put on some lip balm which is just my Nivea lip balm nothing special and then we can pack my casting bag and I'll show you guys my portfolio Okay, so I just got my portfolio updated. Okay, so this is my portfolio at the moment. It pretty much just has photos of me modeling, but it's basically so that when you go to castings, casting directors or whoever's booking you for the job can look at your portfolio and just see the work that you've already done to see if it matches the vibe that they're going for and the mood board that they're going for. Um, So that's my portfolio. It just has some photos of me pretty much. Some are from a while ago, like that one I was a bit younger. But these are from Marie Claire magazine. These are from Marie Claire magazine as well. And then these are from Vogue magazine. So it's just like a bunch of work that I've already done so that the client can see the work I've done. And then my comp cards are back here. These ones were taken in Paris, but it's pretty much that. And that's the back of it. And I basically give this to every casting director or client that I go to to see for a casting just so that they can remember me. And if it's for a show, they always like to have a comp card off all the models so that they can put all the comp cards together and just see what girls fit the vibe of the show that they're doing and fit the look that they're going for. So these are the comp cards that I take as of now, but I am getting new ones really, really soon. So I'm just gonna bring my heels in my bag. The trick is I used to always go to castings in my heels, but I learned very quickly that that gets really tiring and makes your feet hurt really easily. So I bring my heels and I wear sneakers or boots to the casting and then I just get changed before I do my walk. So I'm gonna bring my heels in my bag. My portfolio I'm just gonna hold because it is really big. I just like to take as well like my hairbrush, some perfume and some lip balm as well, just in case I need it before I actually go to the casting. So I'm just gonna take this perfume, which is literally my favorite perfume ever. I'm telling you now, if you want to know my signature scent or even just a nice scent in general, if you want to have a signature scent, this one from St. Valentine, it's called Smoke Show. I am obsessed with it. I've bought it so many times again. This is my third bottle, I think, um, but I go through them so easily because I literally wear it every day and it smells incredible. And then I just literally take my little Lano Lips lip balm. I have so many that I have in here. If you want to get nice casting clothes for modeling or you're getting into the industry and you need to go to castings or get digitals done, Zara has the best stuff. I'm just saying that because I I literally get all my stuff from Zara and they seem to have the best basics to wear. I'm gonna wear these boots which are also from Zara just because they add a little bit of edginess which everyone seems to love in the modeling industry. This is the casting fit that I'm gonna wear. Um, just a cropped black top and then this skirt, little mini skirt and then these black boots. So it's all black but it's okay, we're gonna make it work and I kinda like the all black look as well for castings just because it's very simple and very basic I guess. My heels are in my bag to take but I'm pretty much ready to go. My makeup routine for castings is non-existent just because you don't need to wear makeup for castings. Sometimes I'll put like a tiny bit of concealer if I'm having a bad breakout but I haven't had a bad breakout in like months now so that's good. But I'm gonna film another video on my tips for castings and tips to basically give castings your best shot so that you have the best chance of booking the job. But I have to head to the casting now. I'm ready to go. Usually also I'll take some food or like a little snack with me to the casting. I'm not gonna do that today just because I just had lunch. So I'm not gonna take a snack. I'll take my bottle of water. So important to bring water and also just like snacks. You don't know first of all how long you're gonna be there for and you don't know if you're gonna need it. So better to be safe than sorry is what I like to think. But today I'm just gonna take some water with me. I've already had lunch so I'm not that hungry and let's head to the casting. Mm -hmm. 